Hey, from six Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into assessment paper number seven. Okay, in assessment paper number seven, what I have done is to actually compile a list of PSLE questions um, that will make you think twice about saying, about saying PSLE is easy. <laughs> okay, these questions are from the past year PSLE papers and they are not easy. Okay, so if you've done the questions at, at screen, in, 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 uh, in the center, you will notice that it is not easy. So which is why I'm here to help you out with understanding these uh, questions so that if this kind of questions comes up in your, in your PSLE, you'll be readily prepared. All right. So with that, let's begin in question number one. Okay, question number one. Why is there a dot here? <laughs> okay, question number one. Let's read this together. It says that Danny had two identical bottles completely filled with mixtures of oil and water. The ratio of the amount of oil to the amount of water in the first bottle was 5 is to 1, and the second bottle was 6 is to 1. He emptied both bottles into an empty pail, and so the question is, what was the ratio of the amount of oil to the amount of water in the pail? Very simple. Well, not as you would think. This is what I tell you uh, most people would do. They would say, oil to water in the first one is 5 is to 1, all the water to the second one is 6 is to 1. If I were to empty it, I would simply get 5 plus 6 is to 1 plus 1. And the whole answer is 11 is to 2. And of course, to which I would say that is completely wrong. <laughs> okay? This is not how we do this. Know why? Because this is in divided into different parts. Even though they are the same amount of mixture, they are divided into different parts. It's like saying, I'll give you a big example. Uh, this is divided into six parts, right? And this is divided into seven parts. Let's say I give you the mixture is actually 4,200 ml. Okay. Now, can you tell me what is the amount of water in each mixture? Which means what is one unit, right? 4,200 for this first one, for this first uh, scenario, we have to divide it by six parts to get one unit of water. And in this case, we have 700 ml. But in this case, for the same one unit, we divide it into seven, and so we get 600 ml. So my question to you is, is it the same? No, it isn't. That's why we have, we cannot do it this way, if this one is definitely wrong. So what we have to do is a different method, which I will teach you now, okay? Basically, if they are divided into different parts, like in this case, okay? What you must do, excuse me, what you must do is to write it in fraction format. In other words, oil is to water, oil is uh, actually 5 over 6 of the mixture, and water is 1 over 6 of the mixture. In this case, it's 6 over 7 of the mixture, and this is 1 over 7 of the mixture. How do I get that? I add the two parts together, I get 6, I add the two parts together, I get 7. Okay? So basically, I want to express them in terms of um, in terms of how much, uh, what's that called? In terms of uh, fractions, lah. basically in terms of what kind of, uh, in terms of the total mixture. Wow, that, was, that took me some time. <laughs> okay, so for the final oil to water, when we put this in, what happens is, we just simply add it up together. So oil is here, and this oil over here, we add it up together. So we get 5 over 6 plus 6 over 7 is to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7. Now, how do we do this? Simple. Next part is we just have to make the denominators common. Simple. Now, times 7 here, times 6 here. Now, you must be fair to the numerator. You must also times in a similar number. Same thing goes for this side, times 7 times 6. Be fair to the tops. So, what you are left with is you will get 5 times 7, which gives you 35. Plus, what is 6 times 6? 36 over 42 is 2. Um, of course, we take the second one. 1 over 6 and 1 over 7. So, we get 1 times 7 gives me 7. 1 times 6 gives me 6. 7 plus 6 over 42. Okay? So, what we have here is 71 over 42 is to 13 over 42. Now, if you remember from primary 5, if you have a similar or common denominator uh, for your ratio, you can simply just remove the, uh, what's that called? You can simply remove the denominator. So you're left with 71 is to 13, 
and that is the answer for oil is to water in the pail. Alright, if you got that one right, I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Alright, so that leaves me uh, with the quote of the week. And the quote of the week is, if you work it, it will work out. <laughs> if you work it, work it, it will work out. You know why? Um, basically, what I'm saying here is, if you work the system, in other words, if you do the work, if you really follow my advice and do your 5-year series or 10-year series three times over, what you will notice is, by the time you reach your PSLE, everything is going to be superbly easy. Okay? So listen to my, to my advice. Trust me, mark my words. Only those people who actually sit down and do the five-year series, yes, and do it three times over and really, really follow my method of actually, um, what's that, taking the answer sheet next to it, yes, and putting it next to it and doing it together. Now that person will definitely get an A or even an A star, all right? So if you work the system, trust me, it will work out. I have done this two times over in my PSLE, no, in my O-levels and my A-levels, and both times, it has worked out, yeah? I've gotten A once and A's for, for, the, for, the, for the math topic, for the math subject, and it works out for this topic only. This is the only topic where you can just do and keep doing your math uh, assessment papers, and you will get and it's a guaranteed A on A star. So please work it. Trust me, it will work out. All right, with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off, saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.